if you watch this video on YouTube a little bit later, welcome as well. And let me, um, let me uh, suggest to you, watch this video till the end. Because during the next 40 minutes, I, I know it's a long time for you maybe if you watch it on your phone or uh, at home, but it's absolutely worth that you stay till the end of this video because we have a lot of content in between in every single slide. So um, stay tuned and uh, look this video till the end. I prepared a lot of information for you today, guys, if you are live with me now. And uh, on our agenda, we want to talk about an introduction to the most popular uh, trading styles and the pros and cons of every, of every each style and how do you know which one is the best for you? Okay, maybe this is a kind, uh, this is a, a stuff you are struggling with. And of course, we have different personalities types. Therefore, we have different trading styles. Okay, that's on our agenda. Then uh, that's me. I have 20, more than 20 years experience in trading right now. I have my own trading service right now. I'm a trader at the Asset Management Born Starting Partner in Switzerland, uh, Germany and Tokyo in Japan, of course. And next year, I start with a new trading, uh, with a new seminar series to about uh, two days in March um, about uh, trading and personality uh, development or personal development, personal growth. So I love it. I love to teach people. I love to share my experience with you. And I love to help because I know this is the way our universe works. If you give something, you get it back in an exponential, exponential way. Of course, you get more than you see it. And that's the reason I want to help because we I know the huge numbers of people they failed in trading. They lose money due three months or worst case due one year. The money is one point, but lifetime is a completely different point because money you can get back from trading, but lifetime you will never get back from universe. No one single second. And that's my motivation. That's my real why I want to help you. Because I think it's enough. I think it's enough that you wasted so much time on your own seeking for the Holy Grail. And maybe I can be your coach or Jens or Paul with the collaboration with Admiral Markets, with our Trading Spotlight community. And uh, if you are a part of this Trading Spotlight community, there's only one requirement. You, can, you need an Admiral Life account, and then you can work with us together directly. You can get in touch with Jens, Paul and me. So we want to share everything with you. So, but now you see my motivation because I love to help because I know we can change this industry. We can change everything because, you know, everything is depending from the pen. If you understand the thing with the pen, you can change everything. And this is my motivation. This is my real why. I want to change everything. I want that everybody is, uh, is uh, successful in trading or everybody has the chance to become successful in trading. I know it works. And I want to teach you and I want to show you how it works. So that's the most important guys here in Admiral Markets. Well, that's uh, some, uh, some of my colleagues. And Admiral is a Forex and CFD broker with over 8,000 financial instruments in 20 countries around the world, licensed by FCA, FCA EFSA, SISEC, and ASEC. We have wonderful spreads. Uh, typically 0.6 in euro US dollar, 0 0.8 pips uh, for DEX 30, and of course, most popular formula uh, trading platform MT4 and 5. Okay, let's talk about our special topic this afternoon. And again, to all viewers that watch this video later, stay tuned. Every single slide 
has interesting topics for you. And at the end, we make a sum and then we will see how valuable is this uh, all the slides for you. So I don't know how long are you engaged in trading right now, but I guess you figure out there are more than one trading style. So we have scalping. Scalping, it means you are engaged in, tra in your trade by seconds or just minutes. That's scalping. Then the second uh, trading style most popular is the day trading, minutes or hours. So you have your trade open for some couple of minutes or maybe for a couple of hours. Then we have swing trading. That's the third popular trading style. You are engaged with your trades by hours or maybe days. Swing trading means one trade is open for two, three, four weeks for uh, of sure. So this means swing trading. But less popular is investment or months, uh, over months or years. So that means you invest your money in a share in a company and you buy the share of that because you believe in this company. You think they have really good, uh, they have really nice goods in their pipeline that will develop to the next years, maybe a technique firm or uh, internet or something else. But this is less popular because this is not right trading, it's more investment. And of course, again, if you have any questions to every single slide, type it, type it in this, on this key and I will see it here on the right side. Or if you watch the video later on YouTube, type it below, we will give you answer as soon as possible. Let's talk about uh, the most popular trading styles and let's, let's make a comparison, uh, comparison uh, to scalping, to day trading against swing trading. So a scalper wants to catch or to pick up the most, uh, the best piece of the cake in a really, really short time. But it means short time, quick trades, high risk. This is what a, scalp, what a scalper knows if you make scalping. Uh, now there's here a question from uh, Randy Wright. Are there many people who combine all strategies? I have only been paper trading with different brokers for one year, but feel like combining all strategies is best. What a wonderful question. I will give you an answer due this webinar. So please stay tuned here and listen to me because this is a really, really good idea to combine some uh, strategies and I will show you how you can make that. But this is a really, really good idea. But I will explain you from which is it depend, uh, from which is from which uh, is it depend. Okay. But we'll thank you for this really good question. Um, so a scalper, needs less time, high risk. A day trader is a little bit less stressful because he wants to make money due the entire day and at the most volatile times in the morning or the opening time or something else. A little bit different to the scalper because a scalper can, um, can uh, scalp the best pieces due the whole day. So, and a swing trader, doesn't care about the time because he wants to use the big swings of the markets. Mostly swing traders are trend follower. Say so they recognize the trend and they realize the trend and then they follow the trend, maybe by a breakout or maybe <coughs> from the uh, outcoming of the correction. So let's see. Okay, so that's the big difference between this uh, different trading styles, scalper, day trader, swing trader. If you ask me what I am being, I am a swing trader. I love it. Really, really less, less stress. Really calm trading, but we, <coughs> but we catch so many pips with one trade. So I don't see any reason to uh, spend too much time in front of the screen. 
So let's talk about the pros and cons of every each style. Let's start with scalping. If you are a scalper, and now this is really interesting for you, Ren. Uh, if you are a scalper, you can scalp about the whole day in almost every market. I write it here in the slide why almost, <clears throat> because you need high liquidity to make a scalp maybe in US dollar Mexican peso. I don't suggest that because it's less liquidity, high spreads, you cannot scalp there. Most of the times you make scalps in the futures, Dow future, DAX future, S&P, NASDAQ future, or really valuable and high, liquidity, high liquidity charts, maybe oil, gold, uh, or something else, or Euro, US dollar, GDP uh, against US dollar, US dollar, Japanese yen, all that stuff, all that trades, where you will find a lot of uh, liquidity you can trade. So, but not in every chart, not in every underlying. It must make sense that you have high liquidity if you want to make scalping. But basically, you can trade around uh, the clock. So, therefore, scalping is possible for part time traders. So let's make an example. You have a normal job and you have to start in seven or eight in the morning and you will come home at five or six in the evening. So then you can have a dinner with your family and then you will say, okay, I will just scalp between eight and 10. Okay, it's a good time maybe for S&P 500 or for the Dow Jones because you come with your trading style with scalping in the, final, uh, in the final hour of the end of the day, trading day, you will find a high volatility and liquidity. Okay, for a part-time part trader, it's scalping a really good idea if you want it. So one of the reasons why a lot of people love scalping is you're engaged in the trade for very little time. Because as a scalper, you use breakouts. Most of the times you use a very, very small and quick movement. And the best strategies are you work with, uh, let's, let me paint it for you. I think it's a good idea that I paint to draw, uh, draw uh, uh, pictures for you. Uh, where is it? So let's see, here we go. Okay, look at this one. So let me, let me show you how you can make scalping, for example. Um, so for example, you have an uptrend. So this is an uptrend, you can see it here. You have a trend. Now you have a trend, the price come back in a correction. And now it's going to uh, continue the trend. So this is the last high. And now you want to make a scalp. Scalp means you have a clear target. So like in, out, move away, very, very quick. So that means you have your target about based on this breakout to the upper side. If you have a long trade, if you have a short trade, completely on the other side. So that means you drive or you speculate on this trend continuation, this breakout. This means scalping. This is one opportunity or possibility you can make a breakout. It means scalping, very less time. But that means in a difference, you work maybe with two contracts or four CFDs or for lot sizes. So really high risk. The risk is in money, not in the market. You have always the two options, risk in money or risk in the market. If you have risk in the market, you have more time. If you have risk in money, you have really, really less time. So this is the meaning of a breakout or of a scalping. The second option, maybe you can work, you can see this one, maybe you have a trend, uh, there's a side, maybe a sideways, sideways face, for example, and you see a double bottom or something else, you see the rebounds maybe here on the low, on a double low, triple low, or maybe a divergence, and then you can check or you can trade this rebounds or this bounce of the lower side. Maybe the price, you can see it's rejected on a special price area and you can make a scalp uh, to the upper side 
uh, the same like in uh, the other one. So maybe for two or three CFDs or lots or in futures contracts maybe. So that means how you can make a scalp. So you catch or you, uh, you cut a piece of the cake in a very quick way. So this is the way how you can make a scalp. But and this works, maybe scalping is not a scalp in hourly chart, of course not. This means in minute chart. Scalping means minute chart. One minute, one period, one minute, a quick entry, quick exit, in and out, move away. But as you can imagine, you need a lot of money for that because risk is there in money. So, but the possibility or the positive thing is that you have to take risk for less time. You have a high risk, for, but for a less time. But as you can see, this breakout uh, will happen uh, or will take place in a really less time, maybe one minute or two minutes breakout. You see a lot of orders are placed there at the top and maybe this one minute trade or two minute trades. This means scalping. So that's the pro. Let's make, uh, let's repeat it anytime and all right, every market, high liquidity market. Possible for part-time traders, less time, high risk, but engaged in a very less time. So, but if you have pros, you have cons as well. This kind of scalping requires a lot of experience because you have high money risk. Short time, true, but high money risk. This is a kind of your moving factor of your moving, sliding, moving factor. So when are your hands are getting to sweat? So this is a question you have to answer by yourself. So, and mostly profitable in future market, which means you have, you need a huge deposit. So even you want to trade in lots in Forex market, maybe Euro USD, you really need a huge deposit to make scalping with a thousand dollar account is not, uh, is, uh, I don't suggest that for you. That's uh, of course not a good thing. So uh, to see, we want to high risk, less time, but then you can imagine for a high risk, you need one, two, three lots. That means you need a lot of money on your account, a huge deposit. If you have less than, what would I suggest? If you have less than 50,000 on your account, it makes no sense to make scalping because you have a high margin requirement and you have a high risk in the market. So every trading style or every trading account less than 50,000 50, accounts, I wouldn't suggest that you make scalping there. So you need a maximum discipline and mental fitness. What does that mean? If you work in that style, let me draw it again for you that you can imagine a little bit better for yourself. So maybe you make a breakout. So this is your trend, price come back. And now we are very close here to the last point too. And you speculate to the trend break and maybe uh, to the trend continuation to this breakout. And maybe you have your target here, maybe 10 pips above. And you can see the price goes up. You see the break, the break, but now the next candle, you see the price will come back. Then you have to close the position immediately. There is no space for hope. If you have hope, that's not a good idea. There is no space for hope. If your trade won't work, you have to close it immediately, urgently. Of course, really, really important because you have high risk in the market. Please uh, don't forget that point. And therefore you need a maximum of discipline and you must be really, really strong about your mental fitness. Therefore we talked a couple of uh, last week or the last week before we talked about the thing with the pen. It's a question of reception. 
or perception, awareness. What do you think about that? Don't forget, never forget the thing with the pen. Okay, I hope you understand what I try to say. And the last point here on this uh, slide is you need insight into the order book, which means you need a broker which give you this insight in the order book in a book map, which means most of the time it's really high cost, uh, costly. And <clears throat> let me say again to the viewers that watch the video later on YouTube, I will explain you at the end how you can combine or which one is uh, interesting for you as a person. Okay, let's go. Next one, day trading. Let's talk about the pros of day trading. It's not as stressful as scalping because you trade in five minute charts or hourly charts. That's really less, that's really calm there. That's really nice. I love it sometimes. I'm not a day trader. I can make day trading, but uh, most of the times I'm a trend follower, I'm a swing trader. I love it. It's really calm, really calm and comfortable. Sometimes it's boring. But my mentor taught me one, uh, uh, once in the past, and he said, if you have boring trading, then you are successful. I didn't, under I didn't understand it at that point, at that time, but today, yes, I understand it. Because trend following, trends in a higher time frame is really boring but it will bring you so much pips by one trade. More than 150, 80, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 300. Uh, this year, our best trade was in British pounds, uh, Canadian dollar, maybe you remember, we made 750 pips with one damn trade. I guess it's enough money. As a day trader, you, or as a scalper, you have to work a lot of hours for that in front of your screen. So holding positions over a couple of minutes or hours, the ability to trade in more than one chart. So if you have opened a chart in hourly chart, it's not the problem that you can open a trade in another chart as well. Or if you have a trade in five minute chart, it's not so stressful that you cannot open another trade in another, uh, in another currency pair, of course. So that's the pros of, uh, of day trading. But we have cons as well. Day trading means you have to spend a, a quick much time in front of the screen because you cannot miss any opportunity because you want maybe you as a day trader you are the whole day in front of your screen so much time and now imagine you sit in front of your screen and you're waiting for the next chance and then your wife come in and said hey honey we have to go to the store right now we have to buy some stuff and you said Sorry, are you crazy? I'm a day trader. I cannot miss any opportunity. Uh, do you know such fights with your partner, with your spouse? You know that? I know it. Huh, that's one of the reasons I lost my family because they're gone. They said, you're crazy. You're such an asshole. I cannot live with you. So do you want to make this experience? Please don't do it. This is absolutely con of one of the trading, a uh, day trader, that you cannot miss an opportunity due the day. And of course, never underestimate the costs and fees in trading, because the same is valid for scalping. As a scalper, maybe you make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twenty 10, 20 trades by one day. You have to pay the fees as well. That's the reason why you have risk in money because you need a high profit with one trade that you can pay the fees as well. As a day trader, it's almost the same. So maybe you make one, two, three, four, five trades a day and you know not every trade will be a winner. You have losers as well. Don't forget the spread, the swaps if you switch the day or if you hold a position through the days through the night the next day and of course the fees and this you have to count 
as well. Please don't forget the fees. Never forget the fees and the costs in your trading. It's wonderful if you make 30, 50 percent with a lot of trades, but you have to cut it by your fees. Don't forget that point. And you need to understand the market correlations. For of course, you want to make trades in the Dow Jones. You have to look, you have to have a look at the gold price, for example. Or if you want to uh, trade gold, you have to have a look at the Dow Jones or at the dollar price as well. So you need to understand. It's not just only, oh, no, I have time to make a little uh, trades, a couple of trades right now. No, you have to make, you have to, how should I say, you need insights about the trading. That's not like a hobby. As a day trader, you want to earn money with that. And as a day trader, you cannot combine it with part-time trading. So if you have a normal job and you come home maybe at, I, was, I, I don't know, don't, don't make, uh, I don't care, four or five or six in the evening or in the afternoon, in five minute charts or hourly charts, you won't find a chance right now. So you have to wait. You cannot have a dinner with your family because you have to sit in front of your screen. So that's one of the reasons why day traders have so many fights inside of their family. Because it's a question of time. And I think about my own experience. We only have this one life. What is more worthful? To look in the happy eyes of your kids because daddy has time? Or to jump into the trade and following red and green candles? Because you have no guarantee to make money. It's just a question of probability, uh, probabilities. Please don't forget that. It's really, really important. It's the human factor. And therefore, my topic for 2020 next year is focus on humanities. Because we lost too many people by trading and we lost too much money in trading. And all our families will suffer about that. Be aware of that, please. Do me that favor. Okay, next one, swing trading. It's really, really less stressful as a pro because you have more time. So you trade maybe like me in four hourly charts. So how many candles do you have in four hourly charts? Uh, let's see from midnight to four in the morning, from four to eight, eight to noon, noon to four, four to eight, and eight to midnight, six candles. So you see, it's completely enough to have a look at your charts six, time, six times a day. And it costs you maybe five minutes because you prepared the market on weekend and or Monday with me, and then you can see what will happen to the rest of the week. So, and as another pro is you can watch and trade different markets. So at the moment, I guess I have open with different trading styles. Um, 10, I guess I have 10 trades at the same time open right now, but I have two trades open in four only charts. And I guess seven or eight trades in daily chart. Different trading styles, of course. You will learn that by a coaching program with me. But uh, it's really, it's no stress because I have to look at the market every four hours. I can go to the gym today. I was at the gym as uh, already this day. And or in daily chart, you have a look once a time. One time a day. So you can hold your positions over days uh, and weeks. In a normal way, my trades takes place two hours, three hours, four hours, Mom, sometimes six hours, but then I have a huge profit. And if you have some winners, you have really, really huge profits. But if you reach our targets, 
So you need, uh, you know, our in-out move away trades in Heikinashi, red to red, blue to blue, or we reach our point of control. If you follow my trades in our trading community, trading spotlight, please don't forget that. It's really important to be a part of that and you can learn a lot of things and we are really, really close in touch to each other. And uh, then you will see we make with every single trade in my trend following system, 180 pips, 200, 250, 3, 400 pips, which means with a mini lot, you make 400 euros or dollars a week, uh, not a week or a month. I guess this is a lot of money. Okay, but we have cons as well as a swing trader. It's a little bit difficult if you have a small account. Okay, you can work with micro lots, that's okay. But you should have on your account $1,000 at least. Then you can make more than one trade at the same time. That's, is, uh, it's not, it's not uh, suggestible with, one, uh, with $100 on your account. So, and if we hold our positions over days or weeks, we have to pay attention about the swap costs because uh, therefore it's really interesting that you trade in that direction, you will get some swap costs. And if you make trades in uh, minor pairs, maybe US dollar Mexican peso, you have to pay attention in which direction you want to trade because you have high swap costs if you trade in the wrong direction. Then you need a maximum of discipline because the trades, because usually they run for a long, of t a long time, because weeks, I said. Swap is, swap is not cool, that's right. But you have to count on it. Also, you have to count it uh, in your trades. And uh, discipline, yes, but you know, you know we trade the trend and every trade has some corrections. Therefore, you need a lot of discipline and patient. You have to be patient. And if you have that, if you are a cool trader, I promise you, you can make a lot of money. So which one is the best for you? There are really easy answers for that. It depends on your account size and availability. If you have only $50 on your account, you cannot make uh, scalping, makes no sense. You cannot make day trading, it makes no sense. Maybe with $50, you can make swing trading. Yes, and you can build up your account. You can uh, make sure that your account, account grows up due the rest of the time. And you know, I have a, a life account in $200 and we will finish this year. We started in May this year, we will finish with around 20%. It's really, really good. So we make almost $40 to $200. I guess this is really, really good. So we grow up our account to days and uh, to the time. And your availability, if you are a shift worker, maybe one week you have to work in the morning, one week you have to work in the evening or in the afternoon or in the night, then you cannot, it's hard to make it be a day trader. Maybe you can make scalping if you are at home or if you, the best uh, recommendation is you make swing trading completely comfortable. So small accounts are better for day trading or swing trading because they cost less and usually have more profits. The answer I have to give you to yourself. If you have a huge account, you can make day trading if you have the time for that or scalping because you have high risk, less points or pips. But don't forget availability if you are able to spend a lot of time in front of your screen. And please don't forget your family. Your, your kids will grow up without you. Once a time you wake up in front of your screen and your kids are in university. I think that's not a good idea. And for scalping, of course, you should use futures. And if you trade futures, guys, you know, really, you know, you need a lot of money because you have a high margin and you have a high risk. So now 
maybe you know by yourself which style is the best for you. Type, write it down, and uh, you will figure out which one is the best for you. So, and we have, of course, a question of your own personality, because you have to know your own strengths and weaknesses. If you are a patience trader, a trend trader is able to hold positions a very long time. If you're such a person, do you know what kind of person you are? Do you think you are a patience trader? Ask your girlfriend, ask your wife, ask your best friend. They will tell you which one you are. If you are an active and routine trader, or if you're an explorer like, like uh, Jean-Luc Picard uh, or Captain Riker from, uh, from uh, the Starship Enterprise, then you're an explorer. You can make uh, full automated trading. You can uh, develop some new indicators, something else. But uh, you have to know which one you are. Where are your strengths? Are you an active trader? An active trader is not really able to make uh, swing trades because they need the action. Trend tra into trade trading more than one position at the same time. If you are a routine trader, so like me, then you love rules and very less discretionary trading. I love rules. Therefore, I have my five rules. Trend, young trend, out of the correction, price, uh, uh, pay attention about the price, and then Fibonacci. I love my rules. It's really easy trading. If you know your weaknesses as well, then how these relate to your trading business. Thank you. Impatient, short-term trader, like minute. If you are a lazy trader, use long-term trading, position trading, swing trading. If you are an undisciplined man, woman, whatever, stop trading. You will waste your lifetime with that. And if you're a passive trader, then use maybe an asset management. They will handle your trades. And guys, this is the most important information. No matter which trading style you choose, there is no trading success without changing your mindset, without personal growth. No way, absolutely no way. Watch the video from last week or the last two weeks where I explained the thing with the pen and how you can change your mindset. And now back to the question uh, from how you can combine it. It's depending from your account size and your available time. Then you can have account. I would, I, rec uh, I would suggest basically make swing trading. This is the foundation of your trading account. And if you have a little bit time, maybe you have vacation or you, have, you are a shift worker, then you can use the other time if it's worth for you in day trading. If you have a huge account, make swing trading as the foundation of your basic of your account and then make scalping. But you need a lot of experience and mental fitness for that. This is my recommendation how you can combine it. But the swing trades over days or weeks should be the foundation of your trading account. And then if you have time and if you are in a mood and if you need it, then you can make day trading. So scalping indices with CFDs can work with a small account if you have really tight stops and high win rate, but you need maximum discipline and good entries. Okay, that's absolutely right, yes. Uh, if you go for scalping, do you set losses and how big, how big by percent of your equity? Uh, I have to say, I don't have, I'm not a scalper. It's not my trading approach. But as a scalper, you have high profits, but as well, you need a huge account. Uh, so I cannot answer this question because I'm not a scalper. I tried it far or far away in the past, but I failed. That not, that's not my personality. So, but on Admiral Markets, you will find a, a really interesting uh, guy. It's um, Heiko Behrens. 
he is a scalper, uh, but he's a German scalper. So now let's make a conclusion, then we are done. Each trading style has its own advantage and disadvantage. I hope you recognize it. The one you choose will depend your account size and availability, availability and based on your business plan, you should know the kind of person you are. And for me, the most important stuff, there is no success without personal growth. What difference of leverage for different styles? Yes, of course, in uh, about the ESMA, we have maximum one to 30 leverage. If you have opened your account outside of the ESMA, you can grow up to 800, but pay attention. The leverage works in both sides, in both direction. I use one to 20, one to 30 or less because I'm a swing trader. And if you follow us in our uh, trading community, in our trading spotlight community here on Traders Yard, you can see it here. My colleague will give you the, I hope he will give you um, the link to that community. Then you can follow us. So you can follow the statistic system from Jens. You can follow Paul with his wonderful trades, or you can follow my really, really calm and stressless uh, swing trades who can make a lot of money with that. Personal growth means success. Money is secondary. Thank you for, thank you for that. You speak without of my bottom of my heart. This is the most important thing. Money shouldn't be in focus. Personal growth, that's the point. And then trading is successful. This is the way you can go. Thank you for this wonderful uh, comment. So on Friday, the last webinar for this year, our uh, wonderful uh, colleague, uh, congenious colleague Jens, will talk about the mirror math. What is mirror math? Lines and trading strategies, same time, Friday, same place. What should I say, guys? I hope I, can, I could give you a little bit of advice how you can combine it. I, can, I was able to give you a little bit uh, guideline that you will find your own trading style. But please never forget, focus on your heart. Focus on your inner center. Focus on your family, on your friends, on the human factor. And then I promise you, if you do that, you will be successful in trading. Don't forget how our universe works. If you give something, you will get a lot of things back. If you plant really good seeds in your family, in your life, you will get a lot of things back. And it works in a bad direction as well. So pay attention what kind of seeds you plant in your mind and in your family. It's over. That was Marcus time for this year in our trading uh, spotlight webinar series. What I have to say, if you have any more questions at my markets here on this one, and here, of course, the risk disclaimer, and I want to say thank you. Thank you for your lifetime. Thank you for this wonderful webinars this year. I'm looking forward to continue next year. I wish you happy and Merry Christmas to all of you guys, and uh, really, really happy new year that you will find the power to reach every target you want to reach with yourself and with your family. And therefore, be careful about your thoughts because they are the beginning of your action. See you. Bye-bye.